Hey there, this is Colin. The most powerful person I have ever met was my grandmother, who by the way was only four foot nine. My grandmother's from South Africa. Whenever she came to visit, it was a big treat for me. She took me on adventures. She would tell me things that got me in trouble. <laughs> she taught me a British card game where the goal was not to win, but to more creatively and memorably swear at your opponent. My mom was not as much of a fan of that game. My grandmother spoke five languages, including a tribal click language called Koza. She taught me to say, so that's useful. And no, I don't know what it means. I guess if you must know, you could Google it. The biggest thing that stands out to me though about my grandmother is that she would talk to everyone around us. Do you know people like this? You're out in public and they're just like starting conversations with every stranger you pass. It was super embarrassing. One time we were waiting to get on a flight. I remember looking away and then looking back and <laughs> my grandmother was gone. She had walked directly up to a stranger, was holding both their hands, staring up into their eyes and asking only personal questions. Are you happy in your life? She met you eight seconds ago. How much money do you make? Do you have any discounts for an old woman? She got a lot of discounts. Now as a kid, I found this mortifying. While I'm just sitting there politely, she had made best friends with the entire terminal. See, my grandma had power. What I came to understand is that my grandmother was living out this pretty amazing formula for making money, for finding success, and for living a big life. Get noticed and be interested. Let's break that down. The old methodology around success is blend in, keep your head down, show up on time, be a good employee. That's fine, you've got to be excellent at what you do, but 80% of jobs come through networking. Our success comes from making sure the right people see us doing great work. This is how job opportunities, promotions, success flows into our life. So if you're at a job fair, channel my grandmother. Don't psych yourself out, don't overthink it. You can get so much more comfortable at talking to strangers just by practicing. If you know somebody who has a job that's really cool, buy them a cup of coffee. Find out what is it that you would love to have known when you were my age. They'll teach you more over that $2 cup of coffee than you will learn in like five years of doing it on your own. Why not fast track that? So now you say to me, Colin, I did the hard work. I've approached a stranger. Now what? Well, here's where my grandmother's advice is so amazing. It's not about what you say. It's about your ability to listen. What makes us interesting is our interest in others. Most people are used to never being listened to. They're surrounded by people who are waiting for them to finish so that they can talk. Maybe you know people like this. And if you can't think of anybody, maybe it's you. I was in the same boat. I used to be a terrible listener. Somebody called me out on it. I was super defensive and mad at the time. And I walked away and I thought, wow, that's the best piece of advice I could have gotten. I have built so many relationships and opportunities just out of being genuinely interested in the people that I meet. All you gotta do is create opportunities for yourself and then be likable. This is a pretty common approach for performers, for musicians, comedians, speakers, authors. It's called giganomics. Show up to every gig you can get, play every single one the best of your abilities, because you don't know who's in the audience that's gonna give you your next opportunity. Now, if you don't wanna be a performer, if you don't see yourself as that kind of person, whenever you wanna create an opportunity out of thin air, all you gotta do is practice grammonomics. Thank you.